Good day everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. And for today's tutorial video, we will be discussing the graph of polynomial fashion. Or we will we're going to familiarize the different graph of polynomial fashions. So let's have first define its characteristics. The characteristic of the polynomial fashion, its graph is it is continuous, no breaks, no gaps or no holes and its domain are all real numbers so that means all real numbers it touches our x or the abscissas x coordinates the possible values for the x we have the following graph for the first degree second degree third degree fourth degree and the fifth degree let's first look our first degree our first degree or the linear function. So linear function, we discuss in your grade seven and grade eight. Uh, the de highest degree is one. So and our line is a straight line. And our graph is a straight line. It is continuous. The second degree is the quadratic function. We discuss when you were in your grade. Nine. So we have the parabola, a curve. And third, we have the cubic function. In the third degree, we have in this form. Again, the graph is continuous. It can be extended. And the fourth degree, the quartic function, we have here. And the fifth degree or the quintic function, okay, you have that graph. In our discussions or further discussions, will be the power function. We're going to discuss more about the graph of this polynomial function. So, we're going to expect these different kinds of graph in our polynomial function. And under the graph of polynomial functions, we have the power function. It is written in the form p of x is equal to x raised to n, where n is a non-negative integer. So maybe you encountered in your uh, discussion, we have y is equal to x squared, then you graph that function, then you will come up with this one. So power functions, we have the even degree power function touch the origin and are symmetric with respect to the y-axis so let's say we have here y is equal to x squared so this is our graph okay, it is symmetric to our y-axis and we also have here y is equal to x raised to 4 so this is our graph and y is equal to x raised to 8 if you notice if our n has a bigger value, then it will draw closer to our y-axis. So x squared, x raised to 4, then x raised to 8, it will go closer to the y-axis. So if we have y is equal to x raised to 10, so much closer to the y-axis. And we also have the add degree power functions touch the origin and are symmetric with respect to the origin so add so we have y is equal to x cubed y is equal to x raised to 5 and y is equal to x raised to 9 so you study the graph if we have y is equal to x cubed so this is our graph y is equal to x raised to 5 and y is equal to x raised to 9 so again as the number of n increases it will draw closer to our y-axis and it is symmetric with respect to the origin so that is the power functions Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.